This lecture focuses on inventory. Once an item is, that is needed to create a product has been procured or purchased, some provision has to be made for storing these items until they are needed. Every raw material, every component, everything that's completed or partially completed has to be stored, at least for some period of time. And every piece of equipment the firm uses, its inventory, must be accounted for and controlled. There are three basic types of inventory starting from the customer. We have finished goods inventory, which is the product that's ready for sale. Then we have work in progress inventory, which is those products that are partly completed, but are still have some stage of the transformation process that still has to be performed. At McDonald's, a cooking hamburger represents work in progress inventory because it still must go through several more stages before it's sold to the customer. And lastly, raw materials inventory includes all the materials that have been purchased to be used as inputs for making other products. Nuts and bolts are raw materials for an automobile manufacturer, while hamburger patties, vegetables, and buns are raw materials in the food industry. Inventory control is the process of determining how many supplies and goods are needed and then keeping track of those supplies and goods and all the items that are on hand, where each item is, and who is responsible for it. Operations management must closely coordinate with an inventory control process. Also, each item held in inventory, any type of inventory, carries with it a cost, they call it a carrying cost. Inventory managers spend a great deal of time trying to determine the proper inventory level for each item in each location and answer the answer to this question, that is how many units to hold an inventory, depends on variables such as usage rates of the item, the cost of maintaining the item in inventory, future costs of inventory, risks of inventory shortages, and other, procure, uh, other procedures associated with ordering and making the item, and of course the cost of the item itself. Operations managers are concerned with managing inventory. It's one of the things that is important to do and to ensure that there is enough inventory in stock to meet demand. Also, to make sure you don't have ex excess inventory or outmoded inventory that is no longer being used or needed for your products and services. There are several types of, several approaches to maintain and manage inventory and process inventory. Uh, there's entire, uh, you could have entire courses about inventory management. Um, one of them is called the economic order quantity model. This identifies the optimum number of items to order to minimize the cost of managing, ordering, storing, and using them. This is determined by cost alone. Another way is another process is called just-in-time inventory or JIT, the inventory management. This is a technique that uses smaller quantities of material that arrive just in time for use in the transformation process. They therefore require less storage space and other inventory, and therefore other overhead expenses or redu reduced inventory management expenses. Just-in-time inventory minimizes inventory by providing an almost continuous flow of items from suppliers to the production facility. Trucks arriving all day long with inventory that process through the plant within a couple of hours, another truck arrives with some more. Notice less is needed to be stored in the warehouse that way. Pulling all of this together, we have a process called Materials Requirement Planning, or MRP, a major uh, information technology innovation over the last few decades that is used to schedule the precise quantities of materials needed to make the product. The basic components are the master production schedule, the bill of materials, and the inventory status file. These can be, and, it all, and often are, used in conjunction with the just-in-time management, inventory management systems, or JIT. So material resources planning is a, material requirements planning is a larger scale uh, system that's in place and oftentimes is used with just-in-time inventory at, on the production floor. So these are some of the examples of how organizations, how one as an employee or as a manager or as a technician can save an organization a tremendous, tremendous amounts of money by improving the inventory process flow through an organization. In the next uh, lecture, we'll talk about 
the, the rudiment, rudimentary discussion of routing of product through the through these the process and scheduling of product through the, the process, which is also one of the ways that one manages inventory more efficiently.